So Francis, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, my pleasure. I'm really happy to be uh, in Orlando this week for this great conference. So tell us about your role at Bell Brands. So I'm the CMO of Bell Brands. Uh, Bell Brands is a growing uh, cheese snack company. Uh, we're a French-based company originally, and our US head office is based in Chicago. Uh, Mini Baby Bell, Boursin, and The Laughing Cow are our three uh, best-known brands in the US. Talk to us a little bit about what it's like to, to walk into a job like this where there's so much potential and a time of such disruption and change. How do you begin to plan out your attack of this market? Well, it's, uh, it's not easy because there's so many choices. That's, that's, uh, that's the challenge, I think, of being a CMO is uh, with, with fragmented media today. We have so many choices in front of us. So it's about uh, using the right one, using as uh, data as much as possible, but also a little bit of intuition and, and heart in, uh, in our decision making. Compared to traditional uh, CPG marketing, I think we have a uh, larger focus on digital. Digital, as I said earlier, it's uh, so complex, we need, we need experts to guide us. Uh, we're also on a path to slowly start to internalize some of these roles, you know, where we would have gone on the outside. And actually the conference confirmed uh, that direction for me. It was kind of reassuring to see my peers uh, going the same direction. Um, as well, uh, for us in the U.S., innovation is going to play a big role. So, uh, you know, we, ha we have an obligation to innovate. How do you think a diverse uh, workplace helps you grow your brand? The yeah, diversity, uh, of course, it, it's race, it's uh, gender, uh, but it's also getting profiles from di different, different uh, backgrounds, uh, making sure we're, we don't have a team that uh, with, with people that all think the same way, have been educated the same way. Mm -hmm. So that's something that's uh, w uh, for which we're very conscious. And uh, you know, we're on the gender equality. I'm uh, very proud to say our, our U.S. leadership team is uh, is a majority of women. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of the few men uh, <laughs> on the teams. Let's talk a little bit about digital, specifically uh, transparency in terms of the supply chain and. Uh, viewability, where your ads are running, how are you guys approaching that as, as you, you break into this market? A concrete steps, what we did is reduce the number of uh, websites and publishers we work with to, to make sure we're confident of where our ads are running. Um, and you know, it's, it's a topic uh, for which to be uh, very humble, we're still learning. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is why I'm coming to these conferences to, uh, to know uh, what's, the latest, uh, what's the latest in the industry. Give some advice to a young person who's just getting into this industry. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I would say one of the uh, most important qualities would be curiosity. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think the role of a uh, brand manager certainly changed from the, the days where I started in brand management. Um, I think be curious about digital. I think what we're expecting from uh, young marketers today is that we want them to be the experts of digital. As I said, uh, more and more companies, we, we don't want to go on the outside hiring consultants. Uh, we would like th this uh, expertise to be in the inside of the company. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank Francis. you very much. Really enjoyed speaking <laughs> with you.